Hey guys, Mr. K here, and today I will be bringing you a new Minecraft tutorial on how to make the combination lock you just saw. Okay, so basically, you're gonna have your walls beside your door. So those are the two walls. Uh, forgive me, I wasn't really prepared for this. Um, here we have our door. Let's move this out first. Now let's get some more wool. Got some wool in here. Redstone torches, we need those. Redstone, of course. Um, we will need levers and buttons. Okay, so um, after you make walls beside your doors, you're gonna make a wall to the right of your door, and then another one. So then you're gonna place your button right here. So one away from the door, it has to be like this. So the button won't open the door like that. Okay, so now you need to um, make some more walls and a space between your button and your first combination thing switch type deal. I don't know. So you're gonna have four of these, so guess what? We're doing some more. There we go. So you have to leave one space between each one and um, let's just get the rest done. Uh, there and there. Okay. So now we're going to set it to the to the combination we want it to be. So I'm going to set it to down, down, up, up. Okay, so now you're going to go to the back and uh, behind each of the switches you're going to put a redstone torch. So you know they're two apart, so you just oh, my bad. Just do that and that. So essentially we want them all to be off from the back. So we're going to leave those two torches there because they're off, but these ones aren't. So we're going to put a block there and some redstone. And see how the redstone is off? That's what we want. We want them all to be off. So there we put a piece and more redstone. So now we got this all down. Uh, there we go. So we got them all off in the off position. Don't forget your button, which is right here. Sorry, my birds make it so much noise if you can hear them. Um, so that's the button right there. And what we're basically going to do is just tie them all together like this. Wait, not like that. Leave that one there. And then here, coming out, we're going to make a inverter. So if you don't know how to make an inverter, it's just this. Just a block, then a torch on the other side. Then one over here, and now we're going to have to make an AND gate. An AND gate is if both of the instances that I'm taking in are either positive or negative, um, I'm going to give a positive and negative uh, output. I mean a positive output. So if coming here this is negative, coming here this is negative, this is going to make a positive coming out there. So it's an AND gate. So this and this have to be negative for it to come out with a positive. So put two torches there, one right here, and connect it like that. So, yeah, here we go. So when you press the button, it's going to make this torch a negative, and this is negative two, so since they're both going to be negative, it's going to make this one a positive. And out of here, we're going to connect it to our door. Uh, hopefully that reaches all the way. And, uh, let's hope this works the first try. There we go. Okay. So, two down, two up. That's our combination. If we mess the combination up, it doesn't work. But if we get the combination right, the door will open. So, um, that's my combination lock tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helped you out a little bit. Um, please drop a like and a comment. A comment is very much appreciated just to know if I'm doing a good job or a bad job, just leave any kind of feedback. Um, I would really love it if you did. And if you like my tutorials, please subscribe. Um, peace.